pomegranate. Why should you be having this? Very high in vitamin C, polyphenols, ellagic acid, and it also has some resveratrol in it. This is a little graph that shows pomegranate juice, blueberry juice, cranberry, green tea, and orange juice. And you can see that the polyphenol, this antioxidant content, it pretty much blows all the other juices away. And right now, if you watch the Food Channel or look in any magazines that have cooking or talk, man, pomegranate's the, the darling of the industry because it, it tastes good and all the science says it's amazing for you. It does wonderful things. So you can find it in all kinds of stuff. One of the reasons that it's so important is one of the things we call one of these miracle molecules, these miracle molecules like resveratrol, and in this case, ellagic acid. Ellagic acid is in pomegranates. They also find it in apples and blueberries and walnuts. It's a very, very potent antioxidant. One of the things that it does is it helps stop mutation in a cell's DNA structure. This means that it helps prevent cancer from ever getting started. The other thing that it does is it causes cancer cells to die a normal death. Cancer cells are kind of unique in that they normally don't die. Well, I, I don't know if I can say normally because that's not normal. All the cells in your body live a certain time and they die. Your red blood cells live for 30 days. Within a three-month period of time, your entire blood system is replaced. No one in this room has anything on them right now, except, you know, if you got some old clothes, that's older than 10. Everything in your body, your brain, your skeleton, your kidneys, everything's been completely replaced within a 10-year period of time because it grows, it, it dies, you get new. However, cancer cells don't die. They just keep replicating and you get a tumor because they just keep growing. That's the problem. This goes in and kind of makes the undead cancer cells die. Also, it's been shown that ellagic acid is very antibacterial and antiviral. And here we see you can get pomegranate at Starbucks now, right? You can get pomegranate martinis. You can get pomegranate, you know, chutneys in there. It's all over the place because it, and it's not just a fad. There's science behind why this stuff is good for you. Our main ingredient in our Genesis is Phytopure. It's 100% juice blend. It's pomegranate, grape, apple, and aloe. And these juices, this is important, this is something you just can't go to the store and buy. You can't buy these. The pomegranate is, con you're taking an ounce, and in that one ounce, the pomegranate is concentrated, so you're getting one whole pomegranate equivalent of ellagic acid. Grape, we're standardizing the grape in here so that we're guaranteeing the amount of resveratrol just like you were having wine in every serving. A whole serving of apple, a whole serving of aloe, all concentrated down into that one ounce. Then we have a secondary ingredient. This is our, our infusion, our, our Genesis Herbal Infusion. And it's based on 15 herbs. These 15 herbs go in there and it gives us hundreds and hundreds of phytoactive chemicals. But the magic that we sell is resveratrol and ellagic acid. Well, we have hundreds of things. Why just these two? Well, because you can't sell hundreds. That's too tough. But these two have a tremendous amount of science on them, and we know that they're incredibly beneficial for you. So we give you the resveratrol and ellagic acid, and we standardize the content in every serving to make sure that it's there for you. Some companies say, well, we have antioxidants. Hey, those are both antioxidants, and we have lots more. Some companies say we have glyconutrients. Hey, we've got glyconutrients. They come from the aloe. Polysaccharides, yep, we've got those. Polyphenols, ellagic acid is a polyphenol, plus we've got lots more. So it doesn't matter what the other companies are trying to sell you. We have that in our product, plus we have the ellagic acid and the resveratrol, which they don't have. This is our herbal infusion. Barley grass, cinnamon, coriander, cucumber, fig, garlic, juniper berry, leek, lentil, mulberry fruit, olive leaf, onion, sweet almond, and wheatgrass. There are books written about the benefits of just wheatgrass or barley grass. Lots of science now about cinnamon telling us how it can control diabetes. We're, we're reading about the, the power of leeks, garlic, and onion. All of those things are found in our Genesis.